What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we're going to be installing Rockbox onto a classic iPod. Now, I did make a video about this maybe a year ago, but I just thought I would make an updated video. This guide will work on any iPod um, that's basically the classic. So it'll work on the iPod Nano, it'll work on this one as well. I think this iPod right here is the iPod 5th generation. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I will be finding out in this video as well. And this guide will also show you how to find out which iPod model you have got. So the first thing we want to do really is connect our iPod to our computer. What I'd recommend using is the original Apple cable. This one will work the best, but if you have any kind of these old style cables, they should work perfectly fine. So also on our iPods, we need to take note of the model number. Now the model number on mine is A1136. So we will be typing that into the Apple website in order to find out the exact name of this iPod model. Now the cool thing about Rockbox is it actually lets you run the original operating system as well as Rockbox. So you basically got two operating systems over on your iPod. This should work for every iPod as well, even if you've customized it. I think the only thing it doesn't work with is the SD card motherboard. If you guys have that SD card motherboard installed um, rather than a hard drive, you might have some problems. But anyway, we're going to get our USB cable. We're going to connect this to our computer and we're going to go and set up Rockbox. It's very easy, so make sure to just follow everything I do and you guys should be able to get it working. Okay, so as soon as we connect our iPod to our computer, it's going to open up in the file explorer and um, it might be called iPod and then it might have a letter, might be E, might be A, it could be anything. All you want to do is just close this down. If you have iTunes installed, it will probably open it up in iTunes as well. As you can see, mine has not been set up yet. So I'm just going to set this up quickly. Um, you can literally set it up in a few seconds. Um, let me just wait. I think it's just going to sync with iTunes. I just need to click on get started. And as you can see, here it is. James's iPod software version is up to date. Make sure your iPod is up to date before installing Rockbox. If you guys do not have iTunes, there will be a link to it in the description. But there is a very high chance that everyone watching this video has iTunes installed on their computer because who doesn't, right? Um, but yeah, make sure to check for update. It should be update anyway. And um, if you want to restore it, now is the perfect time before we actually install Rockbox. But as you can see, 27, basically 30 gigabyte free, literally nothing on this so it's perfect for actually installing so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to google chrome all of the links will be in the description of this video so you guys can just follow along so first of all what ipod have i got the first thing we need to do is just click on the picture of our ipod so i guess i've got this one right here ipod this only works with the ipod minis and the ipods if you have the ipod touch you probably need cydia if you've got an ipod nano i don't think you can jailbreak it and if you've got an ipod shuffle good luck jailbreaking something about a screen but what we're going to do is we're going to select either one of these because if you don't have one of these if you don't have one of these two basically just stop watching a video because you're doing the wrong thing but let's just select iPod and then what we're going to do is just look for it. So mine was A1136. One thing you can do is press Control F on your keyboard and actually just go ahead and type it in. So mine is the iPod Special Edition U2. Really? I didn't know that. Um, but apparently mine is from September 2006 or June 2006 and it's the 30 gigabyte edition. That is correct. I had no idea it was a special edition. But there you go, it should work. And it's the um, iPod 5th generation. Okay, yes, yeah, so I did get that bit right. I just didn't know it was the U2 version. But that's fine. But this one is perfectly fine with Rockbox. So then what you want to do is go to the Rockbox website. This will also be linked in the description of this video and we're going to click on the yellow button that says the download installer. Just click on this and it will actually download the installer. So it's going to bring us to this page and you just want to choose your operating system. I'm running Windows on this computer so we're just going to click on this and it's going to download the zip file. Okay, so once the zip file is finished downloading, we're going to go to our downloads folder and find the zip file in there. So our iPod has now kind of connected it to our computer and it's registered it as James's iPo. I don't know why it does that, it always does that. But what we're gonna do, let me just go on large icons so you guys can see. We're gonna find Rockbox, we're gonna right click it and we're just gonna click extract to Rockbox utility. This is just gonna extract it out of the zip file. We can then go inside of the folder, we're gonna go inside this folder and we're gonna find the exe file. And all we want to do is just double click on it and it will actually launch up. 
So once Rockbox is running, you don't have to install it or anything like that. It's kind of like a portable EXE file, so you can run this from a USB if you want to. But we're just going to click on OK. Uh, we're just going to click on OK again. And it should actually um, detect your iPod. You can just click on Auto Detect and it should just detect it for you. Um, but basically it's going to scan. There you go. iPod Video, fifth generation, stable. Um, that is the one I'm using. So we're just going to click on OK. And then all you want to do is just make sure you've got it selected on version 3.15. If you guys want to select stuff, you can. Uh, there's installation, there's accessibility. If you want to go through all of this stuff, you can if you want to. Um, but all I'd recommend is just having these ticked. If you guys want to get themes, uh, you can actually tick that. Um, so yeah, I guess we can install themes. And all we're going to do is just click on the install package icon. So just click on install. It's going to come up with a progress box and it should install pretty fast. Now, even if it gets to 100%, you still have to wait for it. There is a bit more to do. Uh, this shouldn't really take too long. It should only take a few seconds. And um, if you guys just take note of the iPod over here, you guys can see that the Rockbox files are actually starting to appear. So, yep, very simple to install, very nice. It will also add some kind of like emulators. As you can see, it's adding Duke 3D here, um, which is pretty cool. It will actually add some stuff. But you can always get more stuff on the Rockbox website. So, if you want like a Game Boy emulator, or a Doom emulator, or you just want something that you can't find that's pre-installed, and um, you can just get it off the website very easily. So this is the final message we're looking for that says packaged installation finished successfully. We're just going to click on OK and then it will finish. And as you can see, it's um, basically mounted it here. Apple iPod video, fifth generation. All you really want to do is just click on eject and um, it's going to eject it from your computer. And um, yeah, guys, I guess we are done. We can now go onto our iPod and I just want to show you guys a few tricks if you want to swap between the main operating system and between the Rockbox operating system. So if you guys wanted to browse your Rockbox files, you literally just go on your iPod, you go on .rockbox and you can find everything in here. We've got emulators, we've got music folders, all kinds of stuff. Um, and yeah, there's themes as, as well. If you get themes off the website, they should be CFG files. And yeah, it's very simple. It's pretty much just like a USB drive that you can drag and drop stuff onto. Okay guys, so as soon as you're off your computer, um, your iPod is basically just going to be on the Rockbox operating system. It's going to bring you straight to the Rockbox main menu. Now, it works just like the normal iPod operating system, except we've got loads of cool new features. You can browse through your files, we've got plugins, you can literally just press the enter key. You guys get the idea. Games, applications, demos, there's so much stuff to browse through. Obviously, we've got files, databases, recordings, you can record your voice and stuff like that. And um, yeah, the main thing you'd want to use is the plugin section uh, because that's where everything is. You can go into applications. Maybe we can just start up something. I don't know, calculator, calendar, just for an example. And as you can see, the calendar works fine. So if you guys are inside of an application and you want to get back to the Rockbox home screen, what you want to do is press the menu and the home button or the middle button at the same time. And what that will do is just bring you to the like, it will either bring you back to the Rockbox menu or it will bring you to the menu of the app you're using and you can just scroll down to quit and it will basically just exit you out of it. It's very easy. I guess it's slightly different for all of them, but as long as you press the middle button and menu, you will actually be able to exit. So yeah, that's very simple and you guys are be wondering how do you get back to the original iPod operating system well that is easy as well all you have to do is hold menu and the middle button at the same time so hold it down just like that and um, when the screen goes black and you can just slightly see the Apple logo that is when you want to switch it to the hold so mine is on the Apple logo right now I'm just going to switch it to hold and then we simply just wait for it to boot up and it will boot you into the normal Apple operating system. And um, to get back into Rockbox, I will show you that in a minute once this is loaded up. So there you go, normal Apple operating system, you can unhold it. Um, your brightness might be a bit messed up. Uh, what I'd recommend doing is just going into settings and just upping the brightness a bit. You know, it's quite an easy fix. So there you go, let's just turn up the brightness. That's perfect. And um, yeah, it's as simple as that. So if you guys want to get back to Rockbox again, this time we don't need the hold switch. All we need is menu and middle button. So simply just press those two and then it's going to restart your iPod and it's going to boot up Rockbox. So every time your iPod restarts, it will boot into Rockbox. So just keep in mind, if you do want the original Apple menu, that is when you have to press the hold switch. But let's just wait and let's just let go and it should actually turn on and Rockbox should open up any second.
There you go, we get the Rockbox menu, and um, there we are on the operating system. So there you go guys, that is pretty much it for this very simple video. That is how you install Rockbox on pretty much any iPod. As I said, if you guys have got the iPod Shuffle or the um, iPod Touch, um, you basically can't install it. But if you have got the iPod Touch, you can also get Cydia. So yeah, Rockbox is very nice to use. You can go into plugins, that's basically the main feature. Games, applications, there is tons of stuff on here. Look at all these random games. Uh, Doom might work, I don't know if it's got a WAD file, but I did actually do another video on Doom. Uh, on my channel so if you guys want to watch that you can just go ahead and do that anyway literally just search doom ipod on my channel and you should be able to find it so there you go guys that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like leave subscribe that always helps and hopefully i will have more ipod videos in the future um so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one